This is a 1953 Buick Roadmaster Skylark convertible. There were two Skylarks of this generation, the 1953 and 1954. This is built on the Roadmaster chassis and it was built to celebrate the 50th year of, uh, of Buick. You'll notice the beautiful Kelsey Hayes wire wheels, the wide white walls, and the painted wheel wells. They were a bit impractical in my estimation, but at any rate, uh, this car had uh, a lot of handcrafting in it. The windshield was uh, cut down from the original. Essentially, it was a Roadmaster convertible, but they did a lot of modifications to it. And uh, those doors were uh, hand-fitted, uh, actually welded from two separate doors to get that dip in the uh, in the door. The interior is uh, beautifully two-toned here to match the exterior. Notice the power windows has a lot of all the power equipment that you could possibly get with the exception of air conditioning. Notice the engine turned dash. Of course, it has Dynaflow. It has a 322 cubic inch uh, V8, the nail head V8. And these were about 50% more expensive than the regular Roadmaster convertible, which reflected the high cost of uh, fabricating a lot of these things that were required to make this car special. Now this car has a Continental kit on the back and as you'll see it has the uh, wire wheel. Beautiful paint job. Oldsmobile and Cadillac also had special models too in 1953 to help uh, celebrate the 50th anniversary of Buick. Notice the symmetry on the dash. The one side is the equivalent of the other side. Buick did that for many years. The knobs and so forth on the one side of the radio grill are duplicated on the other side. Beautiful work here on the. Here's the when, uh, estimated price, you know, well, about 150000 something like that. This is an auction car at. Uh, at Amelia Island, so estimated, I think, somewhere between 140 and 170 thousand. You don't see them very often. Beautiful car.